We live our lives taking each second for granted. But what would you do if you knew how much time you had left? Unis Honest. One year. This channel, much like all of you, has a limited amount of time. And every day, we march ever closer to this channel's inevitable doom. That means we'll be uploading every single day until the clock strikes zero. And then, it's game over. Bye bye. Finito. Finished. Curtains. Gone, gone. Night, night. Dead. Forever. Make no mistake, this doesn't mean that we'll just stop uploading. When time runs out, we will be deleting this channel and every single video on it. And you'll never be able to see them again. Because much like death, you can't take it with you. And all we'll have is the memories that we make along the way. Hi. Do you remember Unasanas? Did you watch Unasanas? Did you even know it existed? Well, I did, and I miss it, and that's the point. Let's talk about it. There we go. So, Unus Honest was created on November 13th, 2019. They uploaded one episode per day for a whole year. It was created by Mark Fishbach, Markiplier, and Ethan Nestor Darling of Crank Gameplays. Ethan was the Unus persona, while Mark was the Onus persona. The goal was to create a once-in-a-lifetime experience. To create something without any restrictions, basically within reason, of course, but to create something with no restrictions that is temporary. It was to last for one year, and at the end of that year, they were going to delete everything, stop selling merchandise, uh, delete the channel, and have it be gone forever. In fact, Unus Honest translates to one year in Latin. The goal was basically memento mori. Remember death. Remember that you have to die. And everything else does too. Unus Honest ended on November 14th of 2020 with a 12-hour live stream of the two talking and just kind of reminiscing and just interacting. And it was... It was a pretty interesting time. It was something I'm glad I witnessed, and I don't think we'll ever see something like that again. They wanted to try to keep it as the original um, idea as much as possible, where Mark said, hey, we're going to do copyright strikes if anybody re-uploads these. Now, you are allow allowed to post images and, you know, short transformative clips of it, but... They wanted to try to keep the full re-uploads completely off of YouTube. Now you can get them online, <laughs> but to keep the spirit of what they were trying to do, they wanted it off of YouTube and they wanted it to let it be a memory. I miss it. I had a lot of fun watching Unus Honest, and I think it was probably the most fun I've ever had with anything that's ever happened on YouTube. And I think of it a lot. And I remember the things that they did and just how it felt like an important thing that was happening at the time. And it felt like as a viewer, I was taking part in something that may never happen again. And it, it, it's an important thing in the history of YouTube. You always had in the back of your mind Memento Mori, you know, remember that this has to come to an end. And every video, you knew that eventually this was going to stop. And I think that definitely helped everyone enjoy the content a lot more. Everything felt so much more important. Even the stupidest things they did felt like the funnest times. Because if you knew everything could stop, you enjoy it more. If you know something's gonna end, you enjoy it more. Even if it's the stupidest thing, like maybe turning your own urine into soda and drinking it, you enjoy those moments because it's like spending time with your friends and it might be the last time. With the knowledge that it comes to an end, you can mentally prepare and be ready 
for those moments. And that's not just for YouTube videos. This is a life thing. If you, if you can set your mind to know, hey, everything I do is temporary. Everyone I know is temporary. I think that lesson helps us enjoy people more, enjoy ourselves more, enjoy things more. The Una's Honest lesson is to, hey, remember, everything goes away. And when you know that, and you can remember that and keep that in the back of your mind, everything seems a little bit more significant. I don't want to show much, uh, many clips of this. I could, but the point was to experience it and let it be a memory. And let it be a memory, I will. The point was to let it be a memory. And what makes me sad is as time goes on, I remember less and less of it. I remember less videos. I remember the less, I remember less goofy things they did. And I, that's how it is for everyone. Everything we do, eventually we remember less of it. And knowing that that's how it is, and you know that it might be the last time that you get to do things, you try to take in that moment as much as possible. No matter what you do, it could be the last time. No matter who you're with, it might be the last time you see them. No matter what you're doing, it could be the last thing you do. So I think the lesson here is remember death. Remember that everything is temporary. And everything we get to experience is kind of precious. And, well, maybe not the bad things. But it's easy to take things for granted. And I think the point of Unus Honest is to remind you, hey, don't take things for granted. Everything could go away. It wasn't all just sadness, though. It was a lot of fun. Watching them do some of the crazy, goofy things they did was fun. And the things they put themselves through, like making breakfast with sex toys and drinking their urine and... Just all the fun stuff they did. It was... I don't even know how to explain it. You, you can't be like, oh, it was like Jackass. Or it was like Jackass Light. Or it, it was a different feel. It wasn't just them doing stupid shit. Okay, it was them doing stupid shit. But it had a different feel. It had this sadness to it. But it also had joy. Kind of like spending time with someone that is terminally ill. You try to make the best of every moment you have with them. You try to make every moment matter. But as it gets closer to the end, you keep getting sadder and sadder while having fun. You still feel the sadness and you still have fun and those things are constantly clashing with each other. So maybe take some time to think, hey, this thing I'm doing I like, I might not be able to do this again. These people, my family, everyone around me might not be here tomorrow. So maybe uh, just take some time away from yourself. Sit down and just think and appreciate everything we do have and the moments we get with the things we have and the people we have around us. I think it's kind of interesting that such an important lesson can be taught from two goofballs on the internet, but... The problem with Unus Honest is it was terminally ill. It had to come to an end. From the day it was created, it was dying. And it made it so much more significant and special to know that everything they did was going to go away. I think it was one of the most impactful things to happen on YouTube. And it's kind of a shame that a lot of people didn't watch it or... Or care because of maybe who was in it. Or they just thought it was some goofy thing going on. But it was so much deeper than just, you know, crank gameplays and Markiplier acting like jackasses. It, it, it was deeper than that. It was always meant to be deeper than that. And I think a lot of us got the message. And I, I think that, you know, we all come away from it with a little bit of a better appreciation for everything around us.
So, did you take part in this? Did you did you watch? Did you buy merchandise? Did you did you see some of the goofy things they did? Did you laugh? Did you not like it? I'm curious because I I wonder what everyone's takeaway was from this because I, I wonder if the message got through to a lot of people. I mean, it's not like a like a super hard thing to figure out and it was pretty cut and dry what they wanted to do but I, I think they accomplished it really well and I miss it and that's the point but if you are the one person that watched this video I appreciate it very much it means a lot to me and I will see you in the next one